Welcome to Wild for the Outdoors. I'm T Mac, and today we're going to take you back to October 2012, a little time we call Crazy Week. It's pre rut, you know, smoke pole season in Oklahoma couldn't be better. End of October, 1st of November, we get to crawl out there with our smoke poles and just have at the deer, and we always have a great time. Chuck and I, he always takes, every year he takes this week off. We seven days we hunt hard. We hunt out of tree stands. We walk. We hunt out of blinds. We walk some more. And hunt, hunt, hunt. That's all we do during this week. And I tell you what, it was a rough one. But finally, things came together. We crawled off into some of the thickest, nastiest bush you could ever think of. And finally, had some deer come in. See it, but I think I got it. How do you get two shots with a muzzle loader? <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and reload in case they come back. <laughs> okay. Did you make out vitals, you think? She is. It was the fourth day, fourth day of muzzleloader. We've been hunting hard, been hitting it hard, and uh, just trying to get some meat for the freezer. And we do. We got us a nice little doe here, not the biggest thing in the world, but uh, she'll uh, she'll do fine. She'll get some meat in the freezer for me and the family. So that's what's the most important thing is to get some meat in the freezer. Been a really good evening. Got a nice little new spot that I haven't really hunted in a long time, and so we tried it out tonight. And, I think we've seen four all together. Um, this one presented the shot for us and was able to take it. Uh, it only took two shots to get her, but <laughs> good thing I had T-Mac behind the camera with his gun loaded because actually his gun is the one that killed it. I pulled the trigger. Uh, <laughs> I shot with my gun and totally missed. And he's like, here, use my gun. So 
I'm using open sights and uh, it's pretty thick in here too. Um, it is really thick and nasty. Uh, but he has a scope on his so I was able to dial it down and um, make a good shot on her, knocked her right in the tracks and uh, we're excited. We got some meat in the freezer, good old back straps. Uh, call mama and the boys and, and, the, and the baby girl and let her know and uh, get some back straps for the grill. So, well, now it's on to a buck for the rest of the week and uh, we're going to see how that goes. We've got some plans for the rest of the week. So, anyways, that's all I've got. T Mac, I don't know if you got anything. Mm -hmm. Had fun. Had lots of fun. Let's keep it up. <laughs> I tell you what, we had a fantastic time. Chuck got meat in the freezer. And we was actually able to go out and pull a double on does in late rifle season. But get out there with your smoke pole, people. You, you get to get out in the woods before rifle season comes along and it gets, stirs everything up. And you can harvest some great deer. Unfortunately, we didn't see any big bucks that year. But... My dad, Chuck, they both killed some big, nice bucks during that time. I put a couple on the ground myself, but it's a perfect time to get out there and chase the whitetails with a primitive firearm. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like us, subscribe to us, and, you know, just keep putting our names out there, and we'll keep bringing it to you. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And thanks for all the support. Uh, God bless, and I'll see you next time.